Hey guys, it's Hazard Edit here, and first of all, Happy New Year to everybody watching this in January. If not, then it's probably maybe the next year, or maybe the next year is coming up. Anyways, so this is the 5th of January, and I'm sorry for not having uploaded any videos for a longer time. Just I didn't have time for that. And I also want to thank you guys for 1000 subscribers on YouTube, that's uh, awesome. Didn't think I would, I'd ever get this far with this channel. But it seems to be possible and I'm looking forward to have even more than this <coughs> subscribers. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a registration bot for a online registration form. So what you do to make one yourself is you go to the page uh, what you want to register or make the bot for. So I'm here on Yandex and I have my link here. So this is the link for the form and you go into Visual Studio and you need at least a button or not even that but it's useful to have a button and a web browser so you double click on the form and you get the form load thing here so this is what happens when the form loads and what you want to type here is your web browser which is one in my case navigate and here's the link and we navigate basically this page right here. So next you need the ID which you get from inspect elementing one of the blanks or a button whatever. You get the ID here it says value ID equals first name so basically this is the ID. Go back to your Visual Studio and now you type in for the button which you have to double click to activate web web browser one dot document dot get element by id therefore we need the id type in the id it has dot in my case set attribute because we wanna input stuff a value inside it because it's a text box obviously and i'll input hazard as my first name and I copy this for the last name yeah last name okay um, I'll copy this for my last name and put in I don't know rocks there we go because I know for sure that the ID is last name for the second one enter username you would basically like generate a random number with some word and then input it or you would like take the first name and last name from a txt file and then put a number after it that's what I did in my speed coding video for my Yandex email bot email generator bot and that's what would you what you would do also the only thing you have to know is that you have to type the capture yourself. That's why you don't want to get the ID of this button and make it auto click because that obviously won't work because you need the capture first. So, yeah, and once we got that, we just run this. Goes to the page, awesome and we click fill and there you go it filled out the first two text boxes you would do this for all of them it's nice that it gives you an option for uh, clicking one of these so you wouldn't have to think of a complicated algorithm for something like that well it's not complicated to make the username but just in case you just click this and this and there you have it because these are all available and then just copy and save it to a file 
just like you'd always do. So yeah, that's basically it guys for this tutorial and see you guys next time. Peace out.